Hi Pisces, this is going to be a reading from November the 16th to the 30th. I hope everyone is having a good day so far. If this resonates for you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon or rising because you could be in that energy as well. Just a reminder, these are general readings, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, Alright, let's get into it. So I'll start with an angel oracle guide here, and then I'll move into traditional tarot, and then back to oracle at the end. So... The card we have this week is Take Charge and Action. It's funny because all the water signs are having these kind of like, um, you know, do the work, these charge energy times. Like, I, I feel like all of them are, are kind of in this kind of fiery energy um, in these two weeks. And maybe that's kind of going into Sag season, uh, Sag season, but it feels like, again, this kind of fire with all the water signs right now. Take charge in action. Don't be afraid to take charge or be strong at this time. Sometimes we have to take control in order to be respected and honored. If you feel that your current situation is moving in a direction that isn't serving you, your joy, or your purpose, the message of this card is to put your foot down now. You don't have to be aggressive, but you do need, uh, you do need clarity now. And unless you step in, it will unfold. Um, it won't unfold. So set a good example and respect yourself and lead rather than be led. If you're wondering whether to make the next move in a particular situation, this card encourages you to do so. Often fi angels find it difficult to support us fully unless we uh, make the first move. Meet them halfway now by showing your commitment to moving forward. If you're feeling ambitious at this time, this card is asking you to trust your gifts and potential. If you have an opportunity to move forward in your career, personal life, or spiritual life, you are the co-creator with the universe, and your angel guide is encouraging you to take action. By setting clear intentions, having a strong vision, and taking, act uh, taking the action steps you need to make your ideas come to life, you are showing the universe your commitment to your expansion. Know that with every step you take, your angels are with you, cheerleading, uh, cheerleading and encouraging you to rise on up. Rise up and focus your intention and send it out like an arrow. Boom. Boom. That, it's funny, like an arrow turning into Sag season. What am I saying here, Pisces? Maybe you're going to find this Sag season is going to be super, super, uh, super, super driven one for you. All right, so let's just pull some traditional tarot. Just give me a moment to feel this energy that I'm feeling. Kind of fell out there. All right. Let me just feel this energy that I'm feeling for Pisces. For Pisces. You know when you like um, dip your, I don't know about this image, but it's like dipping your foot into a pool and checking the temperature. It's like, it's like, you know, I'm just going to put one little foot in. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to feel what this feels like. Check the temperature. Um, here, it feels like kind of not fully, uh, maybe fully committing to something. Um, maybe going after something here. It's like, maybe, uh. I get that hesitation. But we have the Eight of uh, Pentacles here in the reverse. When the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse comes up, it means we're not working on something. Um, maybe, again, we might be in this energy of kind of feeling um, lazy right now, feeling like we can't accomplish something here. We do have the Strength card in the reverse, and when the Strength card is in the reverse, it's Leo energy. Um, but it's just kind of saying we're fearing something here, fearing like we're not going to be strong enough or that we have the inner strength to kind of do this. There might be this new kind of project that kind of seems overwhelming right now, and that kind of fear of it being kind of too much or maybe fear of not going um, the way we want it to is kind of consuming our energy, Pisces. It's kind of just like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so worried about it that I'm not actually even doing it. I'm not even working towards it at all because I'm just thinking about it and just overthinking it and fearing it. So I'm deciding to not act on it. 
and that's what it kind of feels like in your energy right now it's kind of like again putting that foot in the water being like well, i don't know i'm just going to test the temperature maybe i'll go in maybe i won't you know maybe okay maybe this time i'll put like a whole foot in and then like maybe i will but maybe i'll like pull back out and withdraw because i'm scared it'll be might be too cold still um it feels like that energy with you in these kind of two weeks it feels like this energy of maybe hesitation um this energy of being like something might be too daunting of a task for you or you're kind of not wanting to work hard on something here but they do really want you to put the, um your energy into something um here whatever it is that this kind of is relating to you with they really want you to kind of start doing the action for it's just working on something working towards something here you know, whether that be maybe for some of you starting a new business, maybe some of you, um, you know, at work, you know, taking on more responsibility, whatever it is for you here, whatever this, um, how again, it relates to you, what you're kind of scared of here, they want you to kind of move forward on that. We do have the Page of Swords coming in here, which is talking about a conversation. This could be um, online. This could be a DM. This could be a phone call. This could be a text message here. Seems like it's like someone from the past coming in to talk to you. Um, six of uh, Cups coming in here as well. Someone from your past wanting to chat or have a conversation. I'm not sure how this conversation um, is kind of going to go. Um, or specifically what it is for here, but it seems like with the Four of Cups that it's something um, not relevant to us. Um, the universe is trying to bring us in something here, this kind of Four of Cups. You see the universe in this cloud is trying to bring you in this kind of new offer here, but we're so fixated on these three cups that we're already looking at that we do not see the new opportunities that are coming in for us here. So again, there's stuff that's new here um, that wants to kind of the universe is trying to bring in. So we'll kind of try to focus more on the new Pisces uh, maybe at this time because it seems like this conversation of the past is almost like drawing us back into kind of a past situation um, here for ourselves. We do have the Eight of Cups coming out here, but it's coming out sideways. When it comes out sideways, it means we can either leave something behind or we can kind of stay where we are and kind of um, not move on from it. So the, some of you might be in that decision right now. There might be something, maybe a career, maybe this is a person, maybe this is a relationship that you're deciding if you should leave behind or move on from here um, in these two weeks. They want you to kind of, again, it feels like, I don't want to say this person feels like a distraction. This conversation feels a little bit of a distraction, but it kind of does. It, it feels like it's kind of um, taking you away from maybe something new here. Also, it feels like if you're like doubting your own abilities in these two weeks, um, just recognize how much of that is fear and then how much of that is um, uh, is is kind of fear based here. Because again, if they if it does feel like they're saying that you have the ability to accomplish something here. We have the four of oh here. Interesting. All right, so we do have the four of wands coming up here. And the Four of Wands is um, energy of coming home, um, energy of foundations. Sometimes this can be, um, you know, moving to a new home. Sometimes this can be um, moving back to a hometown. This could be buying a house. This could be getting a new apartment. Some of you might be in that phase of life right now where you're kind of getting the new things here, Pisces, or, or um, engagement, things like that. But it's interesting, it's like something about going home or, or finding a new home here, but we're also kind of battling our vices, which is interesting. We have the Eight of pen, uh, Cups kind of in the um, sideways here as well. Again, like I said before, when cards come out sideways, for me it means it can go either way. It can be a wish fulfillment here in this new house or this new home or this new maybe relationship, or it could be the opposite. It could be kind of feeding our um, negativity. It could be kind of feeding our vices or things that we do to, um, how do I say this? Um, the things that kind of, you know, that old attachments we might be attached to, vices, drugs, um, alcohol, partying, things that kind of uh, make us feel not really emotionally content or make us feel emotionally at a loop um, here. So there, again, in this new home, there might be, you might be battling that. You might be trying to find that kind of wish fulfillment or this kind of um, energy of sitting pretty um, in your own emotion here. And so there might be that little bit of battle with maybe old ways or old vices here for you. Um, again, it says take charge in action. I think it's, they're leading you towards leaving something behind here. 
we have the uh, seven of wands, which is talking about setting, standing up for ourselves or standing up for energy. There might be energy of people coming at us right now, or it might be our own thoughts even coming at us here with this kind of, um, with, with these wands. But there's a need to kind of stand up for ourselves. And this is kind of, um, I'm feeling it more kind of in ourselves, like in our own energy here, Pisces. I'm not Pisces, but I'm just saying that because I'm feeling it in, in myself, right? Um, yeah, it's this energy of needing to stand up for us a little bit more, you know, but again, like I said in that card, like putting our foot down a little bit here and being like, no, I deserve better than that. Um, no, I deserve to be happy. No, I can, I can accomplish this. I can do, I can do the work. I know I can, I can, um, it's that unwavering kind of, um, standing up for ourselves. And if you, it's feeling like, especially for yourself, you're like, you know, I can do that. I can come over that vice. I can, you know, work hard. I can build something here. I can do that. And that's one of this energy that I'm feeling. It's like, I can do that. I can do it. I can do it. Um, and I want you to kind of keep that energy in these two weeks, Pisces, that you can do something, you know, little baby steps forward, take the action to do whatever you got to do to kind of move away from some of this old energy um, and stand up for yourself and stand up for what you deserve here and, and the work that you know that you can do. I think you're going to be maybe having a conversation here with someone. Uh, we do have the Page of Cups coming out, and I always find interesting is this person that's having the conversation with the fish. And I always kind of see this card as that, as kind of an emotional conversation with someone or initiating a conversation. So I think there is something here where um, someone's going to be maybe talking about how they feel or you're going to go to someone for maybe advice um, in these two weeks as well. Maybe this is a friend that you kind of really trust. It is upright. So I feel like there is this kind of emotional conversation to be had. But when this conversation comes up, I think you're going to see a lot of clarity coming from it with this Ace of Swords. Your mind's going to be a lot clearer after whatever this conversation conversation is whoever you're kind of um pouring your heart out to a little uh, pouring your heart out to or you know opening up to here um you're going to get a lot clearer on kind of what the next steps are we do have the five of pentacles coming out here as well when the five of pentacles comes out in the reverse it's a good thing it means this kind of um energy of feeling like left out in the cold um this energy of maybe things financially not going your way for you um are going to start clearing themselves so there's going to be new kind of opportunities coming here for you there's going to be new kind of clarity there's going to be um this space of not feeling so kind of maybe distanced or other kind of by society i feel like you're finding your own kind of inner authority here it feels like in these two weeks, you know, finding out again, connecting to ourselves a bit more, um, <clears throat> what we can accomplish, what we can do here. There is this energy of a relationship um, here, the devil energy, the devil is Capricorn energy, but it's coming out with the lover's card in reverse. It's coming out with the two of pentacles in reverse here as well. And when the lover's comes out, it means um, in the reverse, it can represent not only a romantic relationship, can re um, represent kind of a divinely guided uh, relationship here as well. But it seems with the devil card, this person isn't really have our best interest. Um, this person is kind of more chaining us down than anything. Um, this person is keeping us stuck where we are, keeping us maybe stuck in our bad habits, um, <clears throat> stuck in this kind of negative energy, stuck in this place. Again, this energy can be kind of manipulative here as well. The two of pentacles in the reverse is saying that there might be some kind of overspending going on as well. So maybe someone... Um, here that you're negatively attached to they're kind of not really thinking about your your money or your survival here they're kind of more kind of thinking about themselves um or there's this kind of negative attachment that's kind of draining you <clears throat> excuse me i'm just gonna grab a sip of water that was kind of like draining you in, in some capacity here it feels like for some of you, it was definitely a romantic relationship. I just get this draining energy. And that might be financially, like <laughs> literally draining your money, um, but also just kind of, uh, of, of draining. 
overspent on that situation. This could also be like maybe someone that you've been giving money to where you're like, you realize that you're, you're borrowing the money and they kind of never get you back. Something like that here as well. But I, I feel you kind of moving away from these kind of negative um, <clears throat> attachments that are having here. We have the Ace of Wands coming out here, a new fiery beginning for you as well. I think this is that drive that's coming in, like I was saying before. This Ace of Wands, this new kind of um, drive to go after the things that you want. And I think uh, it feels like also like aligning to the right people, aligning to the people that want to see you succeed, aligning to the people that want to see you kind of grow and move forward here. We have the Page of Wands in reverse, and we also have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. And this is kind of telling me that we need to let go of this kind of um, idea that we um, maybe aren't good enough. Um, this idea uh, about, um, you know, life is just kind of negativity, that we can't go out and adventure, that we're kind of limited, we're stuck, things aren't for us here. They want you to have a bit more adventure. They want me to be like, you know what, I can figure things out. Um, I'll make something work. You know, I'll work hard towards something here. I can do this. And it really feels like that. It really feels like you need to surround um, yourself with people and, and keep talking to yourself, being like, hey, I can do this. I can get this done. I have the ability to move past this kind of old energy, this energy that has been keeping me stuck. I'm going to stand up for myself here, and I'm just going to do it. It feels like, again, just Nike. Just do it here. Take charge. Take action. You know, Bring that enthusiasm in. Be like, you know what? The world's my oyster. I'm excited to go out and venture. I'm excited to do things here. I'm not getting stuck, or I'm not getting limited anymore. There might be a fire sign um, that's coming in to help you here. Queen of Wands, Energy, Aries, Leo, <clears throat> Sagittarius. But it feels, or this could be you as well here, um, Pisces. It's it's this energy of, you know, um, believing in yourself, you know, trusting your own abilities, trusting your own talents, trusting your creativity, really kind of shining here too. And I think you're going to, when you kind of move into that space of trusting yourself a little bit more, move in that space of <clears throat> believing in your own ability, um, that's when we're going to find this kind of um, moving back from kind of rock bottom here, right? Moving on from this pain or this hurt or whatever kind of dark places that we have been in. The moon card is popping out here too, which is Piscean energy, which is energy of maybe not seeing things clearly, illusions, um, can sometimes be um, shadow work here as well. I don't know, I get this energy of wanting to like better ourselves as well and, and, and um, feeling this energy of kind of growth here, you know? It's like whatever's kind of been hiding subconsciously from us might now be kind of be brought to the light and you kind of see the things that maybe need to be healed, see the things that you need to move on from here as well. The hangman reverse is like, now is time for action. So that's why it says take charge and take action. absolutely so I'm just prowling oracle cards now for your reading and the card that you just got I was like makes total sense all right so the first card that you got from the energy oracle was uh, four shark archangel Raphael but in the reversed this card reverse indicates some blocks and in flow in your heart center energy perhaps it's an old sense of abandonment or grief of a broken heart lingering from past a uh, long past event whether it's recent or not, this blocked energy stops you from caring for yourself and attracting love from others. It can create an undercurrent of unhappiness that permits your life. It's time to heal the old, right? This Ten of Swords energy. Um, this energy of feeling not good enough or not believing in ourselves uh, enough, not standing up for ourselves here. Don't bypass the pain and pretend it doesn't exist. Instead, uh, ventilate it in your journal or release it with the intention to clear, uh, to be clear, happy, and self-loving. Meditate on the increasing light in your heart center and call Raphael to help bring healing and clarity. Love yourself and give yourself the approval that you used to need from others. The healing will take place and happiness will return. So even in reverse, that's like a beautiful card to get. We also have empathetic star seed, and this is kind of this is kind of the devil energy that I was feeling here, Pisces. 
energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Empathetic starseeds are here to shift the world through their physical presence alone. They don't need to do anything beyond being here. Thanks to energetic change, their physical presence it causes. Due to their highly sensitive nature, empathetic starseeds can struggle with being on Earth and in the physical body. Many are prone to addiction, this devil energy, depression, uh, or tend to mistake other people's feelings and moods for their own. Natural introverts, they tend to prefer spending time alone or in small groups. Crowds can be overwhelming for them. If this card appears, uh, consider lighting the, lightening the load energetically. Do not put yourself under such pressure to go out in the world. Be gentle with yourself and allow yourself extra time and care to recover energetically. If you're feeling pressure to keep up with a certain pace, instead put on the brakes and treat yourself like a precious baby. Do whatever you can take the do whatever you can to take the pressure of the world off your plate. Switch off and switch back on. In today's world, it's normal to feel like that we should be doing more, but perhaps being present in our life is enough. This could be a phase that you're going through, or could simply just be, uh, or simply how you're being called to live your life. If your work involves giving to others, right now, uh, you're being called to keep something for yourself. You don't need to transmute it all. It's okay to look after your own growth and healing after feeling like you should offer something for the world. Indeed, it's necessary if you want to continue to do so sustainably. All right, Pisces. That was your end of month reading. I hope that helped.